Toby, it's here. Exacto knife. Package. And so we perform a little surgery here very carefully. Very, very carefully. Because you never know how close to the surface the contents might be. There we go. Oh, it's open. Okay. Oh, back go the flaps. Oh, he looks like he's in a kind of a gray plastic bag, but I recognize that face. I recognize the face. Here's the head in the bag. <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> oh my god. Gosh, it's been 20 years since I've seen this face. 20 years. Certainly since I've worn it. And, ah. Oh. How about that, you know? Two heads are better than one. Thank you, Toby. You have single-handedly rescued my horror host dream. And my, uh, my kitty, Connie, seconds that motion. But, oh, look at him. He looks just the way I remember him. Yes, that, that familiar nose to one side, because that's, you know, the side where it's crooked, the other side is where he sleeps with his face in the pillow. <laughs> the eyes are definitely trimmed open more than they were on the old one, and his mustache is definitely trimmed, but it's going to make it so much easier to speak. Uh, and I have enough trouble speaking anyway. But, yeah, look at that. Look at him. I never, ever thought I would see him again. Yeah. Gosh. It's just extraordinary to get this. And who knows where this has been. This particular mask what history it might have had. But bless whoever gave him up. And bless you for finding him for me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And, um, well, I guess we'll transition to what's next. Well, Teen Wolfie, I hear that you're the one who resurrected me from the old horror host dump yard. Is that true? Is that correct? Uh, you'll have to pardon me. I'm, I'm just a little bit out of practice. Uh, I've got to get my... I've got to get my mojo back. I think that's what Austin Powers said. Oh, I'm showing my age. Anyway, it's your fault. Everyone will have you to blame for Tim. And if you ask me, I think that's fair. Yes, I, I think that's quite equitable. I get freedom and you get derision. That is, after all, my calling card. I am a smartass. Deal with it, puppy boy. Now, I think I'll go out and, uh, oh, perhaps prosecute a, a reign of terror throughout the neighborhood. Yes, I'll go running around with my Slash and Foxy Roxy t-shirt on. And everyone will be envious of my fashion choice, I'm sure. Well, I must be off. I can't dilly-dally too long here. 
I'll be seeing you in not too long a time, Oggy Doggy. Off we go. Imagine that Stevie Gothling not allowing his eyeballs to pop out of his skull. Tex Avery style when he first saw my face come out of the box. Well, ungrateful whelp, we must do something to punish him. I don't know what. We'll think of something. We'll put our heads together, eh? Yeah, we'll get back at him. What is, what that? is that? The light. The light? The light. It, suddenly it suddenly grows. grows. So very much brighter. I've been in the darkness for such a long, long time. I was cruelly banished to the shadowy wasteland for such a lengthy span. I have long since lost count of how many years. Many. So many. It's all starting to come back to me. What it felt like to be among the living ones. Can this truly be real? Is this not just another vexing dream within a dream? No, this is no dream. This is the real deal. This is the promised land. It's time for Tim to shine again. I'm back, baby. Dig it, if you can.